Hey everyone, how are you doing? Well, I have a little bit of a problem today. Do you guys know what this is? Yeah, it's a light, but it's not shiny. I came to work. Do you think you can help me? I'm gonna try turning it on. Nothing. Hmm. Maybe it's a light bulb. Maybe I need a new one. Let's try that. Okay, let's get a new one here. Yep, it's a new one. It's not broken. Very squeaky light. We'll see if that works. No, still nothing. Hmm. What else can I do? Hmm, there's this cord here. Think that has anything to do with it? I don't know. Uh-oh. Was I supposed to plug this in? Well, let's see if that helps. It did, it turned on. Well, light's kind of a cool thing, isn't it? It can shine on me. It can shine on you. Not on your eyes, because that would hurt. It can shine all around the room. It can shine on something we want to see really closely. What about at night? Like when you have to go to the bathroom? Does it help if you have a nightlight sometimes? Yeah, it does. You need to see what you're doing. What about if you're camping? It's really dark out. Sometimes you need a flashlight, don't you? What's all things they have in common besides light? Do they just work? Or do they have to be plugged in or connected to a power source? They have to be plugged in, don't they? They either need a plug or batteries. Think about your cell phone. You send text if you don't have any charge. The battery's dead? No. How about video games? Can you play Animal Crossing if the video game is no longer charged? No, you can. So it has to be charged. It has to be connected. The same thing can be said about Christians. Do you know that? We want to spread the light of Jesus. Because Jesus is the light, remember? And our Bible verse says, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will not be in darkness, but have the light of life. I'm sorry, you'll never walk in darkness without the light of life. So it says, Jesus is the light. And if we have the light of life, we're not walking in darkness. So we have the light in us, but we want to shine the light to everyone, don't we? Do you think we can just do that? Do we have to be plugged in sometimes? Do we have to be charged up? Yeah. Well, how do we do that? Read the Bible. That's a good idea. Read what he says. How about praying? Do we pray to God? That's one way we're directly connected to God. So we're talking right to him, aren't we? Yeah. How about loving each other? Is that sharing God's love or share, spreading the light? Yeah, it is. Now, shall we just love some people or everyone? Yeah, we're supposed to love everyone, aren't we? Even last week, we talked about loving our enemies. So we just love certain groups of people. We love all of them, don't we? Yeah. Well, has anyone ever heard the phrase around our church called connect and grow? What do you think that means? has the word connect and grow. Well, sometimes when things are plugged in, we call it as being connected. So if we're being connected, and we do this on like during Sunday school, or certain times when adults or we kids gather together learn about God, are we connecting? Yeah, we're connecting to God. We're connecting to each other. We're connecting to everyone, aren't we? And then we grow. So we're growing our light, so our light become brighter. And then often we talk about going in church, don't we? So if we go, actually we grow, 
And after we're connecting, we're going, showing God's love that we grew, that we were connected. That's kind of cool, isn't it? So just like we want to be missionaries, we have to be connected. But we also have to grow. And we have to be plugged in. So we can show God's light. Do you think the Bible has any Bible verses about being God's light? You guys are too smart. Of course there is. I'm going to read two different versions. Because sometimes different versions are just slightly different. You might learn something a little bit different from another one. And think about it, and during Sunday school, do we always have the same Bibles? No. It may be confusing sometimes, can it? So I'm going to read two, and then we'll talk about them. The first version is the NIV version. And it's Matthew 5, verses 14 through 16. It says, You are the light of the world. A town built on a hill cannot be hidden. Neither do people light a lamp and put it under a bowl. Instead, they put it on a stand and give us light to everyone in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before others, that you may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. The second version is from the message. The message sometimes is a Bible that puts it in more modern day words. Sometimes it's more easy to understand. It's also Matthew 5, verses 14 through 16. It said, here's another way to put it. You're here to be light, bringing out the good the God colors in the world. God isn't a secret to be kept. We're going public with us, as public as a city on a hill. If I make you light bearers, you don't think I'm going to hide you under a bucket, do you? I'm putting you on a light stand. Now that I have put you there, on a hilltop, on a light stand, shine. Keep your o- Keep open house. Be generous with your lives. By opening up to others, you'll prompt people to open the God, the generous Father in heaven. So what does this Bible verse mean? Yeah, God's giving us his light, and he's putting us on a hill. What do you think that would be? On a hill, can people see you from far away? Yeah. And if you put a light on a light stand, there's on the floor, can you see it better? Yeah. Does it talk about sharing with others? It does. Well, does this all kind of sound like a song to you? Does it sound like this little letter of mine? You guys ever sang that song? We're going to sing it a couple times. But first, I want to see everyone's candle. I don't see everyone's candle. There we go. So he goes, This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Can you guys sing that? This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. And the next verse talks about putting it under a bushel. You guys know what a bushel is? Kind of a different word for basket. So just like a pail or a pan or a bucket, like it says in the Bible verses, should we put our, our light under a bushel? No, we shouldn't. We want it to shine forever, don't we? So hide it under a bushel. No, I'm gonna let it shine. Hide it under a bushel. No, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. So it's always my favorite. You guys go. Good job. Ready? You don't want Satan to it out, do we? No. So don't let Satan it out. I'm gonna let it shine. Don't let Satan it out. I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. This is the light of mine. I'm gonna let it shine. This is the light of mine. I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Good job. Here we're gonna go back to Paul. Do you guys remember who Paul is? Yeah, he's the guy we've been talking about all month, isn't he? Well, he doesn't exactly talk about light. He talks about running a race. So how does running a race kind of have to do with light? 
Well, so we have to charge our lights. Do you sometimes have to train to be a runner? Yeah, professional athletes don't just run a race. They have to train. So it's kind of like them charging up. So we're going to read a Bible verse. It is from um, Philippians chapter 3, verses 12 to 14. And because we're having kind of a fun time reading different Bible verses and versions, I'm going to read it from the New Life Version. It says, I do not say that I have received this or have already become perfect, but I keep going on to make that my life as own as Christ Jesus made me his own. No, Christian brothers, I do not have that life yet. But I do one thing. I forget everything that is behind me and look forward to what is ahead of me. My eyes are on the crown. I want to win the race and get the crown of God's call from the heaven to Christ Jesus. So what is this Paul is talking about? He wants to focus on what's coming out ahead of him. And he's running towards that crown for Jesus. He doesn't want to think about when he was a bad person, does he? No. He wants to shine the light of everyone. But he wants to shine the light of Jesus to everyone. Not his own light, but Jesus' light. And that's what we should all do. We want to run the race and focus on Jesus and shine the light to everyone. So remember this week, shine your light. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you so much for coming in the world and giving us your light. Help us share your light with everyone. Help us recharge with you. Thank you for another great week. And we look forward to learning all everything you're going to teach us this week. Thank you, God, for dying for our sins. Amen. Great, I'll see you guys later. Bye.